at the moment, a good start, but we have chaos with fans on the field, I'm afraid to say. Now, just when uh, Liverpool supporters have had the inkling of a chance to get back into Europe, we've got problems because the police have been guiding spectators out of the end, the way to my left-hand side, and some of those spectators have spilled onto the field, and one or two of them look rather the worse for drink, but clearly something has gone badly wrong at that end of the ground where the Liverpool supporters are. The game has been stopped, nothing is happening, the players are moving towards the centre circle, and the police are trying to get control of this situation once more. They're now getting spectators off the field, but this really doesn't bode well at all uh, for what is going to be viewed abroad in these circumstances. But it's quite clear to me that the Liverpool end there, either people have got in with forged tickets, or perhaps there too many tickets have been printed, perhaps there's been a problem with the gates or the turnstiles at that end, but there are too many people in the Liverpool end of the ground, and that's the top and bottom of it. Perhaps there's been a problem with the of the spectators off the field at the moment, but there are still lots and lots of them, and that's the fencing keeping them back on the terraces, and between the pitch, the off the field, the players are now going off the field, lots and lots of them. That start ending to this semi-final, I'm afraid to say. Kenny Dalglish trooping off all the field, all the players looking very disappointed, and now the police have an enormous job to regain control here, and what they're saying to the fans is all push back to the back of the ground, and let's see if we can get people in. But I'm afraid there's going to have to be some real sorting out to do, because quite simply, as I've said before, there are too many spectators in the central area, right behind the goal where the Liverpool supporters are. Just while there's a little bit of calm, although I can tell you that one or two people are rolling onto the pitch, and they're clearly the worst for wear under those circumstances, that Liverpool have made quite a bright opening to this game because they hit the bar after four minutes. It was from a corner on the right-hand side. It was played in by Ray Houghton to Peter Beardsley, who was on the edge of the penalty area. He volleyed the ball. It looked as though the Nottingham Forest goalkeeper thought it was going over the top of his bar, but Steve Sutton misjudged. It wrapped against the crossbar and out again before the Forest defence cleared. So, still, these chaotic scenes here at Hillsborough and uh, just for the moment with police restoring order you might want to come back again in a few moments Kevin I don't know but anyway back to you down at Villa Park well let's hope the police and the officials there at Hillsborough can get that situation sorted out very quickly and we get uh, play back underway there Liverpool well let's cross straight over to Hillsborough shall we and get the latest news of developments there with Graham Beecroft I would be very surprised if this FA Cup final and FA Cup semi-final carries on Kevin but I think and I can only say this by observing what I've seen. I think, although I hope we haven't, but I think we have had at least one fatality here. And we have a very, very serious situation. And uh, once again, it's all very easy, in fact, to uh, say who is to blame. But certainly there will be an inquest into this. And doesn't it come at just the stage of the proceedings where English football has got the byword to go back into Europe and then we have this sort of chaos and I'm not blaming the Liverpool supporters for this at all at this stage of the proceedings I don't know what's happened but certainly there were too many people in one end of the ground now once the reasons for that are found out then I think that we can look at the blame for this terrible incident and there are hoardings being taken up the advertising hoardings at the side of the ground are being taken up and used as stretchers to take people away and ambulances had to manoeuvre onto the field and go out through the far side that's at the angle away from me in this main stand there is still an ambulance behind the goal there is people spread all over one side of the field another man is being lifted by the Liverpool supporters away to the far side over there and there are still people going away on stretchers a very serious situation another boy is being carried by his mates now just in front of us not very uh, medically approved I shouldn't think but clearly in some sort of trouble himself trying to get him to some sort of medical attention because the St John's Ambulance Brigade are very much overworked here I don't know how many of them are here but it's clearly not enough to deal with a problem on this scale and now the hospitals and the ambulances will be dealing with crushed ribs and maybe dealing with things I'm afraid far more serious so once again a terribly t a sad situation at a football match, a crucial football game. And once again, we're talking about a chaos. We're not talking about fighting. We're not talking about fans attacking one another. 
but we're talking about somewhere along the line, somebody doing something Let's go back to Hillsborough now, because we ought to keep up to date on what's happening there. Let's just make it quite clear again that it's been a crowd spillage, as Graham Beecroft was telling us earlier, and not fighting between uh, opposition supporters. What's the latest, Graham? Well, the latest is that we've got a scene like something out of a Chinese New Year celebration that's gone wrong, because what's happening is that the advertising hoardings are being used to ferry people across the field and people going across as stuttering footsteps across the field in a procession just to get injured people to ambulances. A very serious situation here indeed at Hillsborough. The Liverpool supporters and the police and the small number of ambulance people that are here are all helping out to carry these people across the field from the left-hand side where the Liverpool supporters are, diagonally across to the right-hand side where there is access for an ambulance to come in. Now, I've spoken to the police control room downstairs. The police control room say that there has been no gate charged in by the Liverpool supporters. There are simply too many people in that end of the ground, and the crush has caused this enormous chaos. So there is bound to be a Football Association inquiry into this, and the first thing they're going to have to look at is whether too many tickets have been given to the Liverpool supporters or whether, in fact, They've uh, overestimated the capacity at that end of the ground. So, clearly, lots to talk about, but no problem as far as Liverpool supporters charging a gate in. There has been no trouble from that point of view at all, and the Liverpool supporters simply came onto the field because they were forced there, because people were actually being severely hurt in that end of the ground. They had to stop the game in order for people to get out and for the ambulance people to get in. So fortunately there is chaos, there is no acrimony between the two sets of supporters. Most of that has been done by one stupid idiot who ran the whole length of the field. The whole thing is being uh, conducted very well indeed now, although clearly it is still a chaotic scene, and one which the ambulance brigade still haven't got a hold of. Everybody though is helping to try and get this problem sorted out, but still Kevin, I would doubt very much indeed whether we're going to see football again this afternoon at Hillsborough. Stay with us for just a moment, Graham, if you would. For the benefit of those of us that aren't there in Hillsborough, uh, are the injuries that have been suffered purely to Liverpool supporters? Yes, I'm afraid that is the case, uh, Kevin, because the Liverpool supporters are in the Leppings Lane end of the ground, which is away to the left. It's a small strip of terracing behind the left-hand goal. Then there is a stand above that. There is no problem in the stand, but it's all in the centre section of the terracing, right behind the goal, that the massive crush has taken place and that the bodies have been crushed and there is uh, clearly a lot of serious injury and I wouldn't be at all surprised and I'm afraid to say that I think there may have been at least one fatality as well Kevin but uh, still the people here trying to sort things out and uh, while some people originally started shouting and uh, making all sorts of decisions amongst themselves it's clear that there has been no problem from the Liverpool supporters and it looks as though they can be fully vindicated from any sort of problem here. Well, that's Graham Beecroft at Hillsborough. Sad, sorry situation there. Let's hope that uh, there are in indeed no fatalities. But, Everton uh, then leading 1-0 here at Villa Park. But all the drama really has been over at Hillsborough. Let's go back and join Graham. Yes, unfortunately we've had some Liverpool supporters and it's a small number of Liverpool supporters who've marched from one end of the ground to the other. The police have reformed their ranks. They are now a solid black line across the field and they've pushed the Liverpool supporters back up into the half of the field which is now just full of Liverpool fans who've been forced onto the field to uh, absolutely uh, fill this half of the field and get away from all the problems on the terraces. Now I've got to repeat because I understand that BBC television are giving a different story that I have been to the police room, I have checked with the police and the police say that this problem has been caused by sheer weight of numbers, no gates have been kicked in, no supporters have got in with illegal tickets. This is purely because there are just too many people at one end of this Sheffield Wednesday ground. And if you're listening to anything else from BBC television, then they haven't spoken to the police about it. A net has been taken down at one end of the ground so that the ambulance people and everybody else can make sure that the ambulances can get out and so that it's not restricting anybody from getting onto the field or not restricting the treatment that people are being given. Some people in front of me who are doing lots of shouting beforehand and making instant decisions have now decided that, uh, after all, it's not such a, a terrible problem and the Liverpool fans aren't so awful. But uh, really, it is a situation which is very, very sad to see. And I'm sure, once again, that uh, a football match is going to be the headlines, not because of what's happened on the field, if anything does happen on the field, but because of what's happened off it. But stressing once again 
There has been no fighting between supporters. There has been no trouble. It has been purely because there have been too many people crushed into the ground.